Welcome back, art students. In today's lesson, we will draw a farm. Our farm will include a red barn. Barns are an important structure on the farm used for storage of agricultural products, such as hay, grain, or shelter for farm animals. Next to our barn, we will draw a silo. The silo is a structure used to store grain or feed for farm animals. And we will also draw a tractor. A tractor is an important machine used for pulling and pushing machinery used for planting and plowing the field. Ready to begin? In this lesson, you will need a white piece of paper, a black Sharpie, colorful markers, chalk pastels, or crayons. Okay, ready to begin? We have the top, the bottom, and the middle. We're going to draw one straight line across the middle, and that will be our horizon line. Good. Okay, we're going to draw our barn next. Our barn is made up of many different shapes that we will build together to make our barn. We'll first start with a square. So we want to leave a little room on the side here because we're going to draw the side of the barn here. So just off the side, draw one square. One line up. Got our three sides and close your shape. Good. Next we'll draw a rectangle on top. One short line, the other short line, and a line across to close your shape. We're going to draw one little window in, this is a second floor of our barn, Short line, short line, and two long lines to connect. Triangle on top for our roof. If you need a little help to draw your triangle, you can find the center of this rectangle here and put a dot at the top. Draw a line from a slanted line okay next we will draw a rectangle off to the side so with our square shape here at that point or this the corner of the square draw a short line out and down we have a rectangle the other corner of our square, short line out and down. Good. Now we will draw the top of this roof here. So in the middle of our rectangle shape here, I'm just going to draw one slanted line. Other side, right in the middle, slanted line. Good. Next, we will draw the opening of our barn here, and that will be a square shape. So leaving a little room to the side. Straight line up. Straight line up. And a line across to close our shape. Next, we will make our barn doors to the side here. Now it's going to be the same size of our opening of our barn. So just to the side here, short line out and down. Find the center, straight line across, and on in those two squares we're going to draw an X. To draw an X, you're going to draw a slanted line down and over. Slanted line down and over. Let's do the other side. Find the top of your opening of your barn entry and a short line over and down. 
a line across the center and an X in each of those boxes. For the X, a slanted line down and over, a slanted line down and over. This X is a very common design on a barn. In our little second story of our barn, we're gonna draw just a little bit, a little line across the middle. I've left that open so you can see maybe there's Maybe there's hay stored there. Okay. Next, we are going to draw our tractor. No, not our tractor, our silo. I almost forgot. Our silo will just be just to the side of our barn. And our silo, starting with this side of our barn, draw a straight line up and stop. Just goes a little, just next to it. And then another line, another straight line down to a horizon line and stop. Close your shape. We've got a long rectangle here. A silo is a cylinder shape. And a rounded top. Remember, this is the structure used for storing all the grain. It's a rounded cylinder, so there's usually some lines in, in our. In, in silos, so just make some straight lines all the way across. To the bottom. Very good. Our barn looks finished. Next, let's make our tractor. To make our tractor, we're also going to use all of our shapes. I'm going to make a rectangle shape first. Now I've got my barn sort of on the top left. And now I'm going to draw my tractor on the bottom right. But really, you can draw your tractor wherever you like on your, uh, on your piece of art. Okay, so to make our rectangle, short line, longer line. Got our three sides and then a short line to close our shape. For the front wheel, we're going to draw at this at this corner a round circle. It's a short, small round circle. And on the back, we're going to draw the big rear, the back tire, the rear tire, and this will be a larger wheel. I didn't draw a perfect circle, but that's okay because I'm going to use black to shade that in. Okay. And on the center of this big tractor wheel, we're going to draw another circle on the inside. This will be the inside of the wheel. You can go ahead and shade in your tires now using your black Sharpie or black marker. and you'll shade in your entire front wheel using black. Okay, next, touching the top of your rear tire, we're going to draw the seat and the steering wheel of our tractor. So touching, your, touching the rectangle of the tractor and the top of the tire, the rear tire, Make a straight line back, touching the rectangle where the steering wheel will come out, a slanted line and a small oval for our wheel. And now we will need to draw the seat for the tractor. And this will be another slanted line back, another line next to it to make our seat sort of wider and close that shape. Okay. For our fields, we are going to do straight lines. Farmers like to plant their, 
their crops in straight lines to organize what they've planted in rows. Okay, so we are going to start in the center of our piece of art and I'm going to draw a straight line sort of slanted to the left. So this would be a straight line down. I'm going to make a slanted line just a little to the left. Touching that same point, I'm going to go just a little bit over and make a slanted line going out a little bit to the right. Next to our first line, I'm going to make a slanted line next to it, making sure I leave space so I can put my vegetables in those rows. Make your slanted lines all the way off the page. You could use a ruler to help you to draw straight lines if that bothers you. Okay, so we've got this side complete. Now we'll draw our slanted lines that are going off to the right. Touching the horizon line, straight line down, or a slanted line, I should say. Now when you get to your tractor, instead of draw, drawing a line that goes through your tractor, when you get to your tractor, lift up your marker, try to see where it, the line would come out, and finish your line. It's going to happen again. Touch your horizon line, slanted line out, lift your marker, there. All right, now we get to color in our farm. We are going to start with our red marker. Coloring in our top of our barn, the triangle shape. I like to trace the shape I'm going to color to keep my marker, my color in the shape that I'm trying to color. Now using my marker, I've got a fat Mr. Sketch marker and I'm using the long wide side of the marker. And to make my piece look nice, I'm trying to make my marker lines go in one direction. If I made a lot of scribble marks, it wouldn't look as neat, okay? I'm going to carefully trace that top window on my second story so I don't accidentally color that in. Okay, and I'm also going to trace my opening of my barn so I don't accidentally color that in too. I want to leave those this black. Now the side. Let's do our barn doors next. So to color in our barn doors, I'm going to trace the rectangle and trace the black X's that we made. Okay, those are finished. Let's do the other. Trace the rectangle. And then trace the X's with your red. Okay, good. And ne next we'll go ahead and shade in the rest of our barn on the side here.
Okay, and our silo, we're going to leave the top part black for our silo, so we're just tracing the rectangle. Okay, we are finished using our red. Next, let's get our black. I'm going to carefully shade in. I've made a line right across my little window. And I'm just going to do the top because I want to make it look like there's hay in that second story of my barn and shade in your opening black. Creating this dark black color looks like you can almost step right inside your barn, okay? Now the top of your silo, this is a semi-circle. Trace, shade in. Okay, and now let's go ahead and shade in our hay. Hay is golden brown, so I'm going to start with my yellow. And I'm going to carefully color in that shape yellow. I didn't leave much space on this one, but you can take a brown marker and you'd like to make some scratchy marks just right in that hay so it looks realistic. All right, great. Okay, so for your farm fields, you have nice rows here and you see how this, they all, the perspective on, on your farm fields, it looks like because we've started at the top here, this point that the points get smaller that it looks like our farm fields are really stretching for a very long way. I chose in my picture to make a vegetable field, but I also know that tulips right now are really beautiful and blooming. And so in this picture, I chose lots of bright colors that you might find in tulips. And I also chose crayons here. I'll show you more of that later when we fill in our shape. Okay, so I'm going to fill in our shape, our rows, um, with some vegetables. My center, and you can put your vegetables in any, any row you like, however you like to design them. Perhaps you want to have only one vegetable and you make a whole field of carrots. That's entirely up to you. So I'm going to just draw some little rounded ovals and then I'm going to use my bright green to do a little bit of the top of my carrot. Next I think I will do brown potatoes. Brown potatoes are just going to be rounded. Maybe on the other side. And next to my potatoes, perhaps radishes. Radishes are round, so I'll do some round circles. And on the top of my radishes, I'm going to put a little stem, a little greenery on the top. So just a little line, a couple little lines. Next, I'm going to draw some purple cabbage. I love purple cabbage. 
and cabbage is round, so I'm going to make round circles and shade in my circles. Now it's springtime and these vegetables are not, not all of them are growing. I'm going to do the same on the other side. But farmers are busy getting their fields ready, plowing and planting. Some vegetables have been planted. But it's a busy time of year for the farmer. Okay, and perhaps some greenery here. I've got, maybe I'm going to make some lettuce or kale. And to do that, I'm going to draw a rounded line and some squiggly lines on top and shade in my, my shape. Rounded line, squiggly lines on top and shade it in. Maybe on the other side. Maybe some more carrots. On the top of my carrots. Maybe a few other row of radishes. You might have more rows or less. Just fill in your shape. And our tractor next. I'm choosing a dark green for my tractor. Tractors um, can be red, green, or um, blue even, but a very common color you see in tractors is dark green. Sometimes they have a yellow stripe on them. I'm going to shade in my whole tractor rectangle here, green. Trace my steering wheel. my seat. Okay. All right, so I showed you with the example piece, if you're choosing to do instead of farm um, vegetables, you can color in your rows using lots of different colors, just using um, making a circle shape for tulips. We're going to shade in our the background now using a chalk pastel. Now I know not everybody has chalk pastels at home. Um, something else that I think that might work uh, would be using sidewalk chalk. If you don't have chalk pastels, you can use crayons. So here are the two examples I have. This is using chalk pastels and this is using a crayon. So use what you have. Okay, so to do our, um, our sky, I chose a blue and I'm going to use the side of my chalk pastel and I'm simply just going to push my chalk pastel in the white spaces. I don't want any hard lines so I'm not going to use the top, I'm just going to use the side so my sky looks nice and soft and blue. Okay, oftentimes times when you're looking at a horizon line in the sky, it's a little lighter towards the horizon line. So I'm going to take my blue and make it a little darker at the top of my paper. Okay. 
Okay. All right, next, we're going to take our green. If you were to look at a farm driving down the street, you would see that it mostly looks green. You really can't see what's growing unless you get very close to uh, the farm rows to see. So we're going to take our green and using the side, I'm going to push that green all the way across. I can go right over those vegetables because this is a pretty, pretty light green. Carefully coloring inside that wheel. Okay, next we are going to blend in our chalk pastels using our blending tool, our finger. So with my pointer finger, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to smear my chalk pastel, I'm trying carefully not to go onto my barn. I'm going to do the top dark part of my sky first. Now I'm not taking my whole hand to, to blend or smear it in because it would get really messy. And I wanna to try to keep my colors where I want, to, want them to go. Okay. okay, so I'm going to blend in my green now, but I'm not going to use the same finger because I have a bunch of blue chalk on it. So. I'm going to use another finger Our soft pastel is finished. Now, if you don't have soft pastels, I wanted to show you using the crayon what you can do. So I have green for my field and you can simply just go a very light coloring right over and you'll see your, your tulips or your vegetables poking through or maybe you will just draw some green between your vegetables, like this. And then for your sky, also using your, the side of the crayon, I'm going to press down gently and coloring in one direction, shade in my sky. So use what you have. There. And there you have a lovely picture of a farm. Thanks for drawing with me today. See you next time. Bye.